What we like, a car that can fit in compact parking spaces and swallow tons of gear? Count us in Since joining our fleet this spring, our blue 2017 Subaru Impreza has carried luggage for four, equipment for a 20-person painting party, and supplies for a week-long beach vacation, all separate occasions, mind you. We've had fun on the way to these events too, as our early appreciation for the Impreza's on-road agility and compliant ride has not faded. In an unexpected twist, the continuously variable automatic transmission CVT, has garnered its own share of praise thanks to the stepped-up shifts it employs in a convincing mimicry of a conventional automatic transmission. Subaru's EyeSight system is another high point. The optional adaptive cruise control and lane keeping assist handle lane changes and city traffic better than many comparable systems we've tried. Crucially, the systems allow the Impreza to follow other cars closely enough that opportunistic drivers can't squeeze into the gaps in front of us, and both acceleration and braking are smooth, natural, and appropriately timed. What we don't like, since making it past the break-in period, we've had the chance to acquaint ourselves with the upper register of the 2.0-liter flat 4's rev range and we're a little disappointed. The Impreza's throttle mapping means that it feels quick off the line, but pressing the pedal farther fails to add much oomph, and the engine feels overworked and underpowered at speed. With four adults and luggage on board, this little hatchback struggled to maintain speed over hills on a trip across the Blue Ridge Mountains, and long highway journeys have inspired discontent. The Impreza wanders disobediently in its lane and requires frequent minor corrections. Our fuel economy is sitting at 28 miles per gallon overall, 2 miles per gallon below the EPA's combined rating. This might be the price we're paying for standard all-wheel drive and a CVT that acts so much like a conventional automatic, but we're unwilling to write a free pass. Our long-term Honda Civic has taught us that a good CVT can coexist with parsimony. What went wrong? Nothing at all. A trip to the dealer for a scheduled oil change and tire rotation at 6,000 miles left a $77 lighter, but otherwise life with the Impreza has been worry-free. Where we went, mostly, we've stayed near home, with two trips each to western Michigan and Ohio and one jaunt to Illinois. The Impreza's first major trip was to Virginia International Raceway as a support vehicle for our annual lightning lap track test bonanza, but, alas, no one was inspired to record a lap time. There's a new Midwesterner at our Ann Arbor offices, and it's not a product of the big three. The vehicle in question is the progeny of Japan, but hails from the state that bills itself the crossroads of America, brags that it's the country's second largest producer of popcorn, and is the site of Abraham Lincoln's boyhood home, you know, Indiana. We've taken ownership of a brand new Subaru Impreza, a hatch, match, and we're holding on until the clock hits 40,000 miles. The Impreza is new from stem to stern this year. 
Even the bones are different, as this is the first car to use Subaru's new global platform architecture. The Impreza Soul engine is a 152 horsepower 2.0 liter flat 4 newly direct injected for 2017 in an upgrade that adds 4 horsepower over the previous model. A 5 speed manual is still the base transmission, while a continuously variable automatic is optional, all wheel drive remains standard. Subaru's design team has fashioned a new look for the Impreza, adding more character lines, redesigning the taillights, and giving the hatchback a wider opening. Subaru has been on an extended sales hot streak, posting eight consecutive years of record-breaking numbers. Demand for the new Impreza was up 33% in the first quarter of 2017 compared with sales of the previous generation a year ago, and its early adoption of Subaru's new platform makes the Impreza a perfect test case with which to evaluate the strength of the company's boom time offerings. We selected, as most buyers will, a hatchback CVT version of the Impreza. The second from the top sport trim may not be as universal a choice, but we were drawn to its torque vectoring functionality, which seeks to capitalize on the Impreza's stiffened structure for improved handling. The sport model also wears 18-inch wheels, rather than the standard 16-inchers. For $2,945, we added a power sunroof, an 8-speaker Harman Kardon audio system, and Subaru's EyeSight driver assistance package. Pre-collision warning with automated emergency braking, adaptive cruise control, lane departure warning, and blind spot monitoring are all included in the EyeSight package. Choosing the CVT added $800 to our bottom line. Those options plus auto dimming mirrors and all weather floor mats brought the final tally to $27,605. The first weekend in our fresh Impreza brought a late winter snowstorm, the perfect playground for a Subaru. Fun was slightly limited as we were still accumulating brake in mileage, but the little subby was sure-footed on the slick, unplowed roads we encountered. View 104 photos, with snow days now mercifully behind us, we hope, the Impreza must rely on other traits to impress drivers. Thus far, its charms seem plentiful, with drivers almost universally complimentary about its solid right and quick steering. Complaining about CVTs is a favorite pastimi of CD editors, but so far the Impreza's has mostly avoided comment, although that may change as the miles pile up. The claw upholstered interior and manual climate controls, we'd expect automatic controls at this price, have inspired the bulk of negative logbook comments and have been unfavorably compared with the finer fittings in our similarly priced long-term Honda Civic. We took the Impreza to the dealer at 688 miles for a recall on the software that controls the cooling fan. The fix was quick and free, which we hope will set a tone for any future visits. With few miles on the clock, there's plenty of ground yet to cover in our long-term Impreza.
thousands of miles of summer road trips, morning drop-offs, and evening commutes undoubtedly will tease out issues large and small, so we'll see whether the Impreza deserves to surpass popcorn as a source of Hoosier pride. <laughs>